So we, yeah, we use the tape. If you're using it, it's good practice. It's actually not too, it's not too expensive. And um, okay, you have to apply it to the buttons, but it, it's relatively straightforward. Then you have to line it up, and there's there are two disadvantages. On a really hot, uh, on a warm day, it sticks very quick. So there's very little chance to you know, move that button a bit over there. So you really want to either chalk line it or have somebody on the top, one at the bottom, get it exactly right, drop it. After that, it's actually nice because it's perfectly in position. Just go down, nail it, drop done. <coughs> if you have a roof light, stay away from the roof light. Normally, at this stage, you just button over the opening, and at the later stage, you cut out the buttons, fold the felt, put in the roof light. You can't do, you wouldn't get it off the felt. You know, you rip the felt. Mm. And um, what I do is, I leave that area out, install the roof light first thing, and then button it. Mm. Just button around the window. Long story short, um, we don't need, you don't need it on, on the Utex. If you have the Utex, this is self-sealing, as Uli explained. <coughs> so this would, even without the sealing tape, give you the same level of security or safety in terms of uh, uh, water tightness. Um, if you have um, a pitch lower than 15 degree, you need the membrane, and with the membrane, you would need the tape again. And especially below 15, I would be always as cautious as possible. Like, you know, that's almost a flat roof. Oh yeah, just a quick mention. Uh, ecological, they have those airtight grommets for pipes and cables and so on and so forth. Obviously, you can use them on the roof as well. So if you have a solar system, you know, it's, it's, all, them, it's all them little details that everybody avoids because nobody has a solution for it, nobody wants to do it, and nobody wants to think about it. And when you're actually on the roof doing it, you drill the hole, you stick in the pipe, you think like, well, that's not tight, go down the slave, job done. It's really, you can use them for water tightness as well. It's really easy, like, you know, drill the hole, prime it, put it on, bring your solar system, whatever, through, and you have a wind tight, water tight, easy quick solution. There won't be a complaint about water ingress and stuff like that. The worst I actually uh, see now and then is drilling through the slates, through everything, you know, put in the bolt, a bit of silicone on top, and um, it does leak. They are the first complaints. So it is real, it's not made up or anything. So those are the grommets. Cables, um, pipes, they cover everything from six millimeters to 350, I think is the widest. So even for heat recovery, uh, you know, there's a, there's a grommet for every, for every pipe, really. Ideal, what, what I like to do is, before I even start, I calculate the rows, and I try to find out how I end. There's nothing worse to be just that bit short, or a bit too long, or whatever. And as I cut off the groove here most of the time anyway, I can adjust the first board a bit, so that I have a nice way coming up at the ridge. Most of the time it works, sometimes it doesn't, and then you have to fill in the strip. But in any case, you have a butt joint at the top, and again, you use something like the, maybe using something like a, a half meter or, or a strip of membrane, put it over the ridge, down, left, and right, and that's it. So that's, that's, your, that's your ridge covered, you know, the joint there. In general, I have to say, it's, it, most of the time, it's not the tricky things that go wrong. Sometimes it's the really simple things. So, for example, I've seen two roofs where they obviously had a, a good idea and a good vision about what they do. They used uh, the Gutex boards, they used the uh, blown insulation in between the rafters, air tightness, everything. Only that they... That one. It's 
all the boards were installed this way. You know, groove up and and the, the top to the bottom. So sometimes it is really just just <coughs> those little simple things like and it only takes you two minutes to look up a manual or get a technical specification. If you you know if you're not sure about something like you know and I mean I would do the exact same. If I haven't worked with it, yeah, just check it out like what do they do? Okay. So they're not watertight the opposite way around. They felt you know, the whole roof then right yeah. it was too late. You know, it was all it was all laid out, and then just they had to put the felt over the whole lot to so overcome the, the issue. Like, yeah. 